Hi class! So sorry I can't be there today, but we're going to go over our notes on proportional relationships and graphs. We know from yesterday that some tables make a proportional relationship. Today we're going to learn that if we graphed those tables, the line would pass through the origin. So that's super important that it'll pass through the origin. The equation of the line will be y equals kx, just like we did yesterday. That tells us that we have a proportional relationship. Remember that we call the k the constant of proportionality. Let's look at our graph. We can see that the y values, just read your graph, represent peanut butter and tablespoons, and the x-axis is the number of sandwiches you can make. So can you see that, now we wouldn't connect this line because it's we only make one sandwich at a time. You wouldn't make one and a half sandwiches or one and a fourth, but can you see if we continue the pattern that yes, it would pass through the origin, which tells us it's a proportional relationship. Pick one of the points, for example, pick 6, 18, and it represents 6 sandwiches and 18 teaspoons of, of peanut butter. So remember we can do y over x, 18 teaspoons divided by 6 sandwiches gives us 3 teaspoons per sandwich. So we know the constant of proportionality is k. So k equals 3. So using k, we know the equation is y equals kx. So in this case, y equals 3 times x. Okay, let's look at number one below. Fill in the blanks to write an equation for the relationship. So our x values here are our hours worked. Our y values, remember that's this axis right here, is the dollars paid. So pick any point. So let's pick this point right here. We'll pick point two comma fourteen and find k, y over x, so 14 is my y value over my x value of 2, gives me a 7. So that is my constant of proportionality, k equals 7. So we want to write an equation in this form, y equals kx, we'll take out the k, put in the 7, y equals 7x. For this graph, here's your x-axis, we can see that the x values represent the number of students. Let's look on our y-axis right here. The y values represent your admission cost, so your cost in dollars. Pick any point here. Let's pick this point. We can see this is 12 here, we're counting by 12s. So we have 6 comma 12. Finding our constant of proportionality, we take our y value, which was 12, divided by our x value was 6, and that gives us k equals 2. Again, we want to find the equation in y equals kx form. Take out the k, put in your 2, y equals 2x.